much, uh, my elder. We are now won't waste any time. We want to give over the platform to Pastor Chiriga to um, feed the children of God this morning. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, greetings, saints, and good morning, and welcome to the prayer uh, room, to the prayer chambers. Uh, may my co-host respond if I am audible. You are loud and clear, my pastor. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, uh, we want to appreciate uh, the grace of God that uh, is always with us, that uh, keeps us in a very volatile world, in a place that is difficult left, right, and center. We want to appreciate God's mercies. Someone said that I knew every day. Uh, remember, we are living and uh, living in a very local place, but under a very international camera. We Uh, uh, religiously uh, uh, having his hand over his children. I also want to remind the saints that as we come closer and closer to the final days of this planet, the contest becomes tougher and tougher. And hence, uh, we, we, we need to know, dear saints, that uh, uh, we, we, we have to accept that prayer becomes something that uh, is extremely strange to this world. And while it is strange to this world, but it is the only thing, the only tool, uh, the only power, the only presence that will, at the end of the day, see us through. Last time we were saw, when we visited in a certain region, in a certain place, there we saw a man who only is named by this name Legion, which may not be the real name because uh, that term simply means we are many. Uh, whether the parents uh, gave that friend of ours that name, it's yet to be known. He made yes another name uh, which was better than that. Uh, because those who are many were not angels, they were not saints, they were demons anyway. But the point was to uh, let us know that it doesn't matter how many they were, they were, Christ is not in the context because of numbers. Uh, Christ is for us, doesn't matter how many. And today I want to uh, allow you to come with me again to the book of Luke. To the book of Luke, there's another person that I want us to meet. But today I will not allow you to meet this one only. I will allow you to meet quite a number of people for the purposes of seeing what Christ can do. For the purposes of uh, seeing what God can do. 
That is why I will allow you to uh, meet this one. And that is Luke chapter 13. Uh, I, 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 I'm not sure why my uh, picture is not coming out. I, I don't know. So for today, just mind my voice and forget about uh, my picture there. Uh, I tried to un, 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 undo the, the, the video, but uh, I'm not visible. Maybe the, the, the those who are responsible for technicalities will school me later. But for the time being, let's concentrate uh, it, uh, and move on. Luke chapter 13, verse number 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity, 18 years, and was bowed together. The other way there is bound, uh, bowed together, and it could in no wise lift up yourself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. And he said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Allow me not to read verse 14 there because it brought some unnecessary controversy. Uh -huh. And verse 15 there, uh, uh, let me read verse 16 uh, to, to keep the flow, the flow of the redemption there uh, 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 and, 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 and hindered. Verse 16, Jesus says, and ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan is bound. Lord, these 18 years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day. God, may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, before I make my few remarks on this lady, may I be allowed to say uh, there are many other instances that we meet in the Bible where uh, these foreign spirits, these unclean spirits, uh, uh, where they, 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 they've done havoc, uh, but God in his power is intervened and placed himself where he is as our God. In the Bible, we have two incidences somewhere, somewhere in the Old Testament, you are very much aware um, in Egypt, when Moses went before Pharaoh, that Pharaoh brought from his university uh, men who were schooled in being used by unclean spirits. And you remember these men, let us call them wizards or witches, they brought their tools, which turned into snakes. And you're very much aware that Moses uh, also threw his stick down, which turned into a, another snake. And that snake was too much for the wizards and those witches that it swallowed all of them and they went back home too less. Uh, they went home disarmed and these things happened in the eyes of Pharaoh. My brothers and my sisters, uh, our God is greater than what this world thinks. Uh, than what, where this world places itself, than where the devil thinks of us. 
are by simple means, the whole of Egypt was easily disarmed uh, by Moses, one man. Let me leave that one. You, I'm talking there about uh, uh, things that surround us. I, I mean, uh, we have wizards. People are there who have given themselves to be used by the devil. People are here with us within our neighborhood who have uh, surrendered their lives to be used by the devil. Uh, and uh, many of these belong to these ones. And um, uh, some have even thought they can make a living, they can make money, they can make wealth out of these. And uh, it's unfortunate uh, that whenever they bump into the powers of the gospel, they found themselves disarmed. And I know uh, even in the streets of Soweto, even in the heart of our great cities, whether it's uh, Pretoria or wherever you are, you see our fellow uh, uh, children, brothers and sisters selling things that are straight from the hand of the devil. They've given themselves over just like that. And to these ones, we have no business today. But you also come to the book of Luke, uh, the same which we are attending today, chapter eight, verse one and two, you meet uh, Jesus. He is casting out demons from certain ladies. And uh, these demons were said to be specializing on uh, adultery and other lustful uh, sins. And Jesus cast out these demons and those ladies were set free. And you remember one of them being Mary of Magdala. And what I want to also say, sometimes to live a habitual life of sin uh, invites these demons into your life. Uh, there, there should be no friendship. There should be no relationship between me and the sin, because sin is one of the easiest gateways of the devil into our lives that causes us to be disempowered and to be overcome by the devil. When we live and strive for a righteous life in the presence of holy power, the devil will have no power over us. For those demons that went out of Mary Magdalene never returned again. Though weak uh, 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 and weaker as she was, but she lived a holy life thereafter, a life of uh, overcoming, a life of triumph. Uh, and me and you, we can also enjoy the same. I also want you to meet uh, um, uh, this one is a special, a special type, a special type, which is very common, but uh, not so visible, not so visible. So you need to take note of this. You will read yourself, Matthew 16, verse 21 to 23. A very strange thing is happening there. Uh, Jesus is speaking about going to Jerusalem so that you'll be crucified and die and uh, resurrect that day. And then Peter, came to Jesus and say, Lord, no, you can't do that. You, you can't go to Jerusalem. They, they'll kill you there. They, 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 they will harm you there. Um, let's stop the Jerusalem mission for the time being. G it, Peter is counseling Jesus. Uh, that is what he's doing there. Uh, then then uh, suddenly Jesus turns and looks at Peter eye to eye and says to him, get from me, Satan. Get away from me, Satan. He is speaking to Peter. And uh, Peter, let's uh, let's 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 uh, 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 do something here. Let's put Peter on a certain rank in the company of Jesus, in the team of Jesus, in the uh, uh, administrative uh, uh, committee of Jesus. Let's put Peter. Uh, uh, on a certain rank. Um, if you, you agree with me, if we put away Jesus, Peter might remain the chairperson of that committee. Maybe if Jesus is around, 
Maybe Peter is the vice chairperson. I, 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 I'm trying to do something here. Uh, Peter, uh, 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 Peter, now the devil is in Peter. Of all people, of all people. Have you ever thought about that? Peter, of all people. I know on the same uh, uh, kind of trajectory, we have Judas Iscariot. They are on the table, the Holy Communion table. And the Bible says, according to John, and that the devil entered into Judas Iscariot. What I want you to see, my brothers and sisters, these two elders never misbehaved. They were still uh, 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 sober. They were still themselves. But the devil is a uh, 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 board in them. He found a uh, 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 place. He found space in them. He, 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 so there are people who we may be heavy in the presence of Christ, in the presence of the Holy Spirit, in the presence of other saints, in the presence of the Bible, whom people, whom uh, we, we esteem people, whom we respect people, whom we think are full of the Godhead uh, itself. And yet the devil can define space in them. Uh, uh, and uh, and and uh, uh, is it no uh, issue now that uh, in one elder or in one pastor uh, at one instant any winking of the eye, any winking of events, any winking of opportunity and a chance, the devil will find himself. Do you also notice that uh, from this man, you 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 from this event? You, you are in committees, you are in meetings, and you are discussing serious business, divine business. Uh, let me be there, not even family uh, levels, divine business. And someone whom you think is of respect gives you an advice that is adverse even to the cause. Do, do you notice that? Uh, I want you to note that uh, 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 you need the presence of Christ. Uh, everywhere where you are, for it is only Christ who noticed that, that it is no longer Peter who is speaking, it is the devil who is speaking. It is not Peter who is counseling me, who is advising me, it is the devil himself. So in every meeting, in every committee, in every place, in every event, we need Christ who is able to pick that this was this one is no longer uh, James. It's it's no longer uh, 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 Moipelo. It's no longer uh, uh, Peter. It's it's the devil himself. Every part and the parcel of our life must be packaged with Christ Himself. Let's leave that one. Uh, you also want to meet. Um, uh, you also want to meet this uh, another Old Testament person whom I know you know very well, uh, 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 the man from Uz, the man whose name is Job. Chapter 2, verse 7, you also read at your own time, but it speaks something that is not good, but the whole story is also necessary to take note. I know Dr. Papu might have also passed through here, but what I want you to, to see is the kind of disease that was uh, 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 put on the body of Job, the kind of disease that was put on the body of Job. And remember, uh, uh, Job and his family, his wife and everyone else didn't know where these things were coming from. They, 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 they uh, just knew that Job must have uh, done some sin and the things are turning up against him. Uh, his sins are turning against him. That's all what they knew. They were not aware of this uh, 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 grand, great controversy that was going on. They, they were not aware. And the job from nowhere, on this very morning, he rose up, all things were well, and the wife was comp complaining, having 10 graves of her children, not speaking of the servants, and the, 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 the shamefulness of the, the, the whole thing, the, 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 the whole family was in devastation and they'd lost everything to lose. Uh, and there was nothing but the figures of two people, one in, his, in their desperate conditions. And now suddenly, suddenly in the eyes of the wife, 
the man is turned into a, a, a ash, a soup, a, a, into soup. A, he is turned into something else, wounds and 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 uh, pass and everything, and and he's rotting. Uh, uh, but uh, unfortunately, they didn't know where was this disease coming from. And I want to speak to the saints and they say they are not all diseases that come into our bodies that just come from natural cause. Some of them are direct from the devil. And if we're going to take today's uh, uh, scientists, uh, today's uh, 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 school doctors, they would tell you even the name of this kind of a disease. They would even tell you the type of medication that can be applied to this type of uh, disease and uh, th that uh, can assist our brother Job to be healed and uh, how many days he was to be in an ICU and so forth. All these things were going to be told us, but without knowing that the source of this disease is the devil himself. And therefore, I'm saying to you, I may not be sure uh, where you might be suffering from. I may not be sure uh, where your child, where your husband, uh, where your wife, uh, your relatives, the source of that kind of a disease that might be haunting the whole family by now. I may not be sure where it is coming from, but what I'm sure is not all of those diseases are as natural as we are told by scientists. Some of them are spirit based. It is the devil who has inflicted that kind of an infirmity of a disease. It is the devil himself. And as we meet this one, I want you to know that only God is responsible. Only God can reverse where uh, you want to go uh, 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 and fast forward yourself to chapter 42. Uh, the Bible does not even waste time telling us how God did it, but we only meet a new job with a new skin, with, a new, with new blood, with a, a new face. Uh, someone who has been set free from such a dangerous infirmity and uh, God can do anything. My brothers and my sisters, I may not be sure uh, what you are suffering from and its source from now. I may not be sure, but uh, what I know is whatever it is, somewhere, somewhere, it need Jesus Christ. And let us come back to Luke chapter 13. There are critical issues that need our attention. There are critical issues that need our attention. He is a lady. And uh, the Bible, uh, uh, Luke, Dr. Luke is very specific. He says, he says, this lady has been bound for 18 years. Uh, we don't know starting at what point, uh, whether it was from the womb until 18 years, or after some time of enjoying life, then she was bound. So that we add 10 years to that, 18 years, or 20 years to that, I, I, I'm not sure. But uh, we are only told the time of her suffering, of her being bound, is 18 years. And my brothers and my sisters, may I say this in the depth of my pain and say, the devil is cruel. He can bind life for 18 years. He can make it useless for 18 years. If it is for 18 years, then it can be for 20 years to another. It can be for 30 years to another. I, I, I mean, bound, no going to, no going back, nothing happening. She was uplifted and placed there. That was the daily, that was the routine. Relatives said to pick her from the bed, place her in the ablution block, remove her from there, put her in a chair, uh, uh, bring some food, feed her. And, and it was like that for 18 years. The only thing that was counting was time, but life was bound. The activities of life, things that make someone 
real, someone a happy, someone uh, uh, live, those were bound. I see maybe your project is bound. It's bound for 18 years. Yes, for 18 years. You've tried. Uh, you've tried this. You've tried that. Things have failed. You can move ahead. Bound. 18 years. You've tried a garden. But yours is but a loss. Nothing comes out of it. You have put water, you have put manure, you have put fertilizer, you have put everything, but you have never eaten nothing. Bound 18 years. I see someone who has been to school, uh, you, you have your papers, you have moved from Kamban to Kamban, from street to street, and uh, nothing has happened. Bound 18 years. I see someone who uh, is done all it takes for a good marriage. They've been visited by well-promising young men. Nothing has happened. 18 years, waiting to be married, bound, bound, 18 years. I see someone who is, yes, he handles some runs in his hand, but nothing has happened with those runs, nothing, nothing. Uh, he can count, he can give you statements, bank statements, yes, with good figures, but he, he, maybe the, the, the fattest he has gone is to buy a t-shirt, bound, bound, 18 years. I see someone who is uh, also in this spiritual disease visible and nothing has happened, uh, seated there at home, doing nothing under the care of the parents. God has even decided to keep your parents alive uh, for the purposes of your uh, bound life welfare, uh, that uh, no one else can take care of you, of, her, of him, bound 18 years. My brothers and my sisters, uh, but uh, one day uh, after 18 years, Yes, it has taken all this time, 18 years. But after 18 years, there was a stranger. There was a visitor from another world. Christ came. Praise God. After 18 years, it may be after 30 years, one day Christ may pass by. If well invited. I want to thank those who brought this lady to church, to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. May we clap hands for them. They never tired to bring this one uh, uh, to the church. By the way, remember, there were others with the violent demons who would express uh, themselves so that people would know that this one is under attack of Beelzebub. Uh, but this one was quiet every day. Uh, eyes seeing people, okay, uh, being fed, eating, Okay, uh, uh, the, the, nothing more, nothing less. And she was not, a, 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 I mean, a danger to anyone. She was just there. Uh, so maybe even the parents didn't know that our child is under attack. She is bound by the devil for 18 years. Maybe they didn't even know. They just say, well, it just happened. One of these days, she just say, could not stand up. She just could not, she just could not stretch her arms and legs. And we, 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 I, I don't know what was happening there. We, we just saw her and finally we had to resolve. No, she's sick. Uh, let's lift her. And it was lifting her and lifting her until 18 years, until 18 years. But after 18 years, Still, people brought her to church where she could find Jesus. And when Jesus saw her, as you saw from the passage, she never requested that Jesus may you help me. She was just there listening to Jesus as he preached, attending to the messages of Jesus, accepting her condition that I am here. Uh, one day I'll be saved 
when Jesus comes the second time. But at that moment, Jesus uh, felt, felt favor for her. He felt mercy for her. Yet good, uh, good, 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 good seeing, good, good feeling, good uh, 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 for her. He, he decided today the 18 years must stop. As we come to the prayer bed every day, every morning, as we pray, I'm not sure what you are bound by and for how long. Neither does even our co-host know, not even our pastors. We don't know for how long you've been bound. Your life you has been at a stop. Others have gone, they are 18 years ahead, you're 18 years behind. I may not be sure, but may I say to you, as you are faithful to your Christ, to your Lord, as you are innocent in your faith, as you present your cry to yourself to Christ, surrendering your life, one day the 18 years will stop. One day the 18 years will stop. They never get tired. They never got tired. They will bring you to the church. Never get tired. Never give up. One day your 18 years will stop. Christ will look at you and will have mercy upon you. Even as we shall pray today, there's someone today, but there must be a report in heaven that on this day, someone was loosed, was set free every day of our life. There must be someone reported in heaven who has been bound for so many years. It must be reported that Jesus has set him free. And today, I don't know who it is, maybe within our campus, uh, as a prayer bed, maybe as we pray for someone at home, we may not be even able to participate in this prayer bed. As we remember that person, may Christ pass, pass by. Uh, may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. We are praying, our kind and loving father. I don't know. I don't know. Some of us, we feel we are okay when sometimes we are also bound. But there are those who are visibly bound. Our sisters and our brothers our friends. Lord, as we meditate upon this, do what you only can do and no man can do that. It's only you and only you. We invite you to attend, to see, and to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Thank you very much, Mfundi Suchiriga.